Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 2. And there was Bird, just kinda hanging out, you know, just kinda doing its thing. Talking! Because that's a thing birds normally do. I don't know if you're a parrot. Alright, so we come up here and the rest of our force is already sitting here. And Sir Astral is talking to the bird. It's a phoenix! Yeah, I'm a phoenix. But legendary, I don't know. Yeah, um... Peter's very modest. He's a very modest bird. Very modest talking bird. Uh, you are a legendary, Peter. I read that a phoenix serves a god. Yes, Falcannon. Lou calls him a god. I just... I call him Vol. Maybe he can. I don't know. I don't know what you could nickname Volcanon. Uh, the great being who created the Earth. Okay, so... We've met the servant of God. Okay. Let me go with you to meet Volcano. To tell you the truth, I hurt my way- Oh! Poor Peter. Stopped by for help, but, uh, then kids started trying to attack me. And these lads love trouble. Well, yeah, kinda. I mean... Boy, why didn't you tell me where- You were too busy talking to a bird! I can't get a word in edgewise. Plus, I'm a mute. Alright, so we're going to Mount Volcano. I love how he knows exactly where it is. You said you're going to? Uh, yeah, but, but why? Why not? Yeah, it's. Uh, we've only really been here a year. We kind of need some help. You, you kind of need to be here to advise what's going on, because obviously the king is not in his right mind. So we get to go in his stead. Fantastic. And I love how Astra's like, God damn it, I just wanted to go meet a god. Why can't I just go meet a god? Alright, so we're gonna go with Peter. Hi, Peter. I'm really, I really appreciate your kindness. It's very far away. Well, Bowie decides to take Peter with him. So now we have Peter the Kill Stealing Bird. And we're gonna get into that in a bit. Bring the gift. And in a, tra in a barrel that we already examined, we get a hundred gold. That's the same amount that we got for killing any of those enemies. Really? That's that's enough to buy, like, a healing seed. <laughs> yeah. Find as many friends as you can on your journey with me. We'll do. And this is the, f the only time that we have that many people in our party on, on the map. So now we've got... Peter kind of just following us from now on. Yeah. Just, just kind of following us from now on. Alright, let's sell some stuff for one, because I need to get rid of some crap. Let's see. Uh, I can get rid of the antidote. I can get rid of... Wid. I can get rid of the antiwing. Mm, words. I've got, I've got really this just awful terrible taste in my mouth at the moment because I had the misfortune of spraying some canned air and I breathed through my mouth and I've just now got that, you know, aerosol inhalant taste in my mouth which is causing me, I mean making me sound kind of derpy for one alright, let's sell that mithril as well because again I don't need it, I don't need it for a really long time. Alright, so let's go buy some weapons, because we have a weapon shop, and we should have a couple upgrades. We can go talk to this shifty looking guy with a beard over here. He, he has a beard. I never really noticed he had a beard. I've invented something, an explosive. You can blow up the rocks. Oh, he'll be blown up too. Well, can you make a fuse? Alright, let's see what we've got here at the weapon shop. We got a new sword, we can do that. We've got a new spear, we got a new axe. Fantastic! Uh, let's sell everything. Uh, we've got a new axe, so we can sell that one. Uh, we've got a new spear, so we can sell the short spear and the bronze lance. Because the, the spear will actually be stronger than the 
the lance, and we can sell the short sword. And we are going to go ahead and buy. So we've got a hand axe now? For 340, that goes to Yaha. Yaha's gonna be even stronger now. We've got a spear for 460. I'll go to Chester. And middle sword for Bowie. And perfect. And that should be everything that we need. Okay. No new knife for Slade yet. That's a little disappointing. And I'm gonna buy a couple of healing items, because I burned through some in that last fight. I wanna make sure everyone's got something. At this point, I might as well just go ahead and upgrade to healing seeds. 200... I don't, you don't even give me enough money to buy... Uh, buy a healing seed. Um, let's do that, and let's just buy a whole bunch of medical herbs from this point. I can just put them all on uh, Kiwi. I can, I can put a whole bunch of things on Peter, because it doesn't really matter, because I don't have control over Peter. So I'm going to do that. And that's... that's what we're gonna do. So, let's... Give. Uh, Yaha, you don't need the quick chicken. We're... <laughs> we're giving the quick chicken to a bird. Does anyone see the kind of dark irony in this? <laughs> like... Please, please tell me I'm not the only one that, that, that sees... The, the, the creepy, dark irony in giving cooked chicken to a sentient bird. <laughs> that's, that is some Hannibal Lecter level crap right there. Alright, so everything can go on Peter for now, because, again, we, we don't control Peter. Does not matter. So let's buy a couple more medical herb, and we're going to give one to Bowie. Let's buy one more and see who gets that. That should be Yaha. Uh, I'll give one to Chester and Yaha. There we go. That should be good. Alright. It's time to go. Well, let's let's save it, because we haven't actually saved it in a while. Let's save. May I record your video? Of course you can. In your exposed... I mean, a very nature-esque church. I guess. I will say, I'm actually kind of surprised that it's a cross. Because this is, you know, one of those games from the 90s. Like, a lot of references to religion got, you know, edited. Uh, I mean, more so on the Nintendo than, uh, the, the Genesis, so. Alright, I think... I don't remember which way I actually need to go for this. I think the, this entire yeah this entire path is blocked off, so we need to go down. So I was right the first time. All right, let's let's go explore some, wandering around the world. We have a uh, this is going to lead us to a fight. So this is where we're we're going is is down this way, and we walk here and a fight that just kind of shows up. Alright, so anything new in this fight that we've got? We've got, uh, Hunter Goblins, Goblin, Green Ooze, we have a bat, Vampire Bat, he's new, uh, 20 HP, 8 MP, Attack of 26, Defense of 16, Agility of 16, Movement of 6, Blaze 2, so, uh, that's gonna be a little bit of a threat, isn't it? I only got... The one, and we got another witch. Another oh, so we got two, two bats. And then way over here we've got this interesting little water feature. And then there's a town up here, which is where we're trying to make our way to. So let's see, where are we going? We so if you want to st with this fight, if you want to stick with you know having decent movement, you're gonna end up having to give up your uh, defense bonus. So, it's, so, the defense bonus doesn't really play into a lot here, because our defense is really kind of low. But as the game progresses, the defense bonus becomes a little bit better. So, because, you know, 
30% of 15, not really a lot, but once you get into like 30% of like 50, that's, that's when things start getting kind of fun. But granted, everything kind of scales up, so... Um, also, I have no control over Peter. Uh, Peter is just going to wander around and do whatever it is he wants to do uh, for a really long time. And I made the comment he is Kill Stealer Peter because he is AI controlled, so he does follow kind of the same AI patterns that the enemies deal with, and he will go, he will prioritize specific targets. So if you are trying to save a particular target for someone so that, you know, they can try to get a level up, Peter will not allow you to do that. <laughs> Peter will come in and kill it. Alright, who's what level, speaking of? Chester needs to level up Kiwi and Peter. Okay. So, let's, let's attack. And, yeah, not, not too bad. So, yeah, for a while, Peter is more of a hindrance than a help. He is really not effective as you would like him. He's exceptionally powerful. He's, he is a right nasty unit to have on our own team. Uh, probably one of the most powerful in the game when uh, all is going to be said and done. But it's still a... It's still a pain in the butt to have to deal with him, because like, you have plans. Like, at this point in the game, we've, we've gone through several fights, we have plans of how we want to progress, how we want... It's like, okay, I'm gonna save this guy for so-and-so. Nope. Nope, not gonna happen, because Peter's gonna come in and just ruin it. Thank you, Peter. Uh, Slade's still really the only one who's gonna need you know, exceptional amounts of healing. So, and boom, look at how much damage Yaha's doing. I love, and come in, how much damage is Peter gonna do? That's a lot of damage. But thankfully, he just, he timed that perfectly, that was wonderful. So Kiwi levels up to- so Chester is- is the only one who is not at level yet. Okay, that's fine. That's alright. Because it's his turn. And we're gonna come down here. And we're gonna do that. And that should level him up. And that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Yes, it was. It was so perfect. Oh, uh, wonderful. Alright, let's, um, let's, uh, let's light some fires, shall we? He's in lit a fire. You should probably keep an eye on it. Alright, um, I'm gonna keep you there. I'm gonna try to get Sarah the kill. Perfect. Now, we have Blast. It should do five points of damage to him. It should. There we go. It did six. Perfect. 40 XP for Sarah. Alright, so... We, we need to heal Slade again. So... We're gonna do that. Yay, Kiwi, and your little bald spot. It's just so... He's so adorable. I have no idea what he's supposed to be, but he's adorable. And he's one of the few characters that has a massive change when he promotes. For most characters, their, um, their, uh, sprite here on the battle map is really the only thing that effectively changes. Uh, they, they might get some minor, you know, aesthetic change. But... Kiwi? Kiwi changes. Kiwi changes a lot. Like, some characters, like, if, if you promote a, uh, a, a, like, Chester, if, if you promote him to a paladin, he gets very minor changes 
to to his uh, appearance and his battle sprite. Uh, whereas if you promote him to a Pegasus Knight, he gets a very noticeable change because you know wings are a very noticeable change. So uh, let's. Uh, but we can take another hit. We're okay with that. Alright, let's start putting Kiwi down there, and... Yeah. You know what? You can't counterattack if I do this. But you can dodge, because you're a bastard. Oh. You think you got something? Only... Only to have the random number generator laugh at your face. That's, yeah. Yay laughing. Alright. And... Ooh, this... Oh, Kiwi's dead. Kiwi is dead. Yep. My first death! Kiwi is dead, and that's not... That's... That's going to be a recurring thing. I probably should have known better than to have my, my people so bunched up, because he only gets one cast of Blaze 2, but all it takes is one cast, as you've seen. So, we're gonna have to kill him now. Uh, who's the bigger threat? Let's, we can kill the goblin. The goblin can die. So, yeah, poor Kiwi. Dead. But now we get to see what happens at the next village when, uh... You need to resurrect someone, and, and that's that's going to be a problem. Kiwi is going to die a lot. It, it sucks. But... It's what happens. Uh... Kiwi just has no magic protection at all. There is not a magic defense stat in this game like a lot of other uh, tactical RPGs. Uh, that are, are, are fantasy related. So, all right, let's let's kill the bat. The bat's kind of a threat. I don't like the bat because he can get a guaranteed uh, amount of damage with because he can cast Blaze One again. So uh, let's cast Blaze Two just for a little bit extra. Just a little bit. It's just a little extra. Uh, let's attack with you. You won't kill him. You won't kill him at all, because you won't even hit him. And you're going to get counterattacked. How wonderful for you. Uh, you guys, starting to, to irk me here with your dodge. Oh well. Bowie ended you, and... We got a hundred gold from killing the goblin. You know, like the hundred gold that we got from the minister. Alright, let's heal Sarah. I'm glad I actually bought, you know, healing items. I'm sad that one of the people that I bought a ton of healing items for is now dead. <laughs> oh. That's brilliant. And Peter's just kind of hanging out, not doing anything. Alright, so we got one more bat over there, and then a witch, and then we got Bowie, David Bowie, let's, let's, let's heal Bowie. Like, I, I'm not really hurting at the moment, but you know, it got her to level 11, and she's the first one to level 11, so that's, that's okay, and now we're going to start spreading our people out so that the bat has less of a likelihood of uh, wanting to target a whole bunch of people with uh, Blaze Level 2. And that's something you're going to have to start taking into account from this point in the game on, because AoEs are going to be a thing from this point on. So, yeah, everyone's just going to kind of move in that pattern and... We're gonna have a witch just show up and melee attack Yaha. Because that makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. Alright, did some damage there. We got that bat over there still. Everyone's just kinda creeping towards us. Let's do some real damage. Oh. 
I am just not getting good rolls today. I'm just not. Um. Yeah, let's let's do that. Guarantee that she takes some damage because I guarantee you she was gonna dodge again because she's kind of a bitch. All right. Attack. Dead. No level up for Chester. Now we got... What all do we have? We've got those three. We've got an ooze down here. And that's the... That's it. That's... That's the last that we've got to deal with. So... Let's just continue moving forward ever so slowly. And cautiously. Alright, what's the bat's movement? Because I guarantee you... Oh, I can't check movement. Can I? No, I can't. This game was before that was a thing. Uh, Peter, don't stand right next to my healer. Alright, that, that brought him up... And uh, this is actually where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode, because uh, I'm at my, my time limit. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next installment, where we finish up this battle and uh, hit that town over there. So, uh, till then, later, everyone. <laughs>